Welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. Nick and Dustin here, football just around the corner. We gotta start getting some rankings together and start talking about who we think is gonna be going in the first round. This is our first round projection show. And this year is not easy with all the nope. stuff going on with the running back situation. Guys like AP, Gore, Steven Jackson, Turner, Mendenhall, Jamal Charles, all guys that went in the first round or early second round last year, all these guys are question marks. What do you do? It makes it a little hard. Brent, kick us off with our clear cut number one. With all those running backs out, it's kind of tough. We actually are really saying we want to be at the top half of the draft. And if you're number one, it's a lock. You're taking our boy, who we've been talking about forever, before anybody else. Don't believe life. It's Arian Foster. Gotta love him. The guy can do it all. He's gonna score touchdowns. He's gonna catch the ball. He's gonna run for a ton of yards. Don't worry about Ben Tate. Arian Foster, stud. Take him first overall. I think he likes Arian Foster. Love Arian Foster. Next, we got Ray Rice. Obviously, another solid year last year. We expect a lot more of the same from him this year. He's the workhorse, catches a lot of passes, gets the goal lines. He's gonna have another solid year if he can stay healthy. He's a solid number two pick. At number three, we got McCoy. You know, it's weird. The Eagles lost Westbrook, and it's really like they just cloned him with McCoy. I mean, this guy's great out of the backfield. He's good at short yardage. He's good at everything. He's, you know, he's gonna get the yards, gonna get the touchdowns. You know, McCoy, number three, easy pick for us. With all those running back question marks at the number four spot, you might as well just get your quarterback situation squared away and get the most consistent guy, Aaron Rodgers. Year in, year out, he continues to do it. He's consistent on a weekly basis. He does throw in a little bit with his legs as well. He's still our clear-cut number one quarterback, even with the years that Breeze and Brady had last year. We still like Rodgers. And Dustin loved Rodgers before it was cool to love Rodgers, so it brings a little home for him. All right, at number five, I couldn't hate on him at number four, though. At number five, we got Megatron, Calvin Johnson. You know, guy was just sick. And early in his career, was a little worried about injury concerns, things like that. You know, he played all of his games last year, the majority. He's just a stud, finding the end zone. You know, you, you don't get any better than Megatron when it comes to receivers. Next is a, it gets in that spot where all those question marks with running backs gets a little hairy, but the next guy that we have is actually Ryan Matthews. I know it's a little tough Sneaky. ranking him that high, but he's going to go in the first round. You're going to have to use a good draft pick if you want him. He's still on a great offense after, you know, a subpar rookie campaign. I know he burned a lot of people, but he still had a decent year last year, even though he missed some games. He had a lot of catches out of the backfield. It's going to be a high scoring offense. He's going to get some goal line work as well. Can't go wrong with Matthews. And you got to remember, Tolbert's gone. That really, really helps Matthews. And don't hate on him for his rookie season. It's not his fault he didn't produce that. That was years ago. He's the man out there in San Diego. And number seven, we got Chris Johnson. You, if you drafted him, sorry. I know you're hating on him because you probably traded him halfway through the year. Probably traded him to me. Bad move by you. But either way, Chris Johnson, he's put about 10 to 15 pounds on, they said. He's going to be a lot better. And actually, Tennessee, really in the offseason, bolstered their O line to make sure he'd be a lot better. Fully expect Chris Johnson to have a big bounce back year. Next guy we're talking about, our second quarterback going off the board, it's Tom Brady. Tom amazing, Brady. <laughs> amazing year last year. And he's got more targets now. He's going to get Aaron Hernandez back. He's got Brandon Lord. He's still got Wes Welker. He's still got Gronkowski. He's going to have another great year if he can stay stay healthy. Clear-cut number two quarterback in our mind. Breeze very close. It was an the, argument. The contract stuff is just enough to... Peyton's gone. Yeah. It's a little tough. At number tough. nine, we got Mojo, Maurice Jones-Drew. We try to get him out of our top 10 every year, and every year he just blows up. Last year, this guy was sick. You have to respect the numbers. You know, even with a terrible quarterback, no passing game, he did quite well. Laurent Robinson's there now, and the DUI machine's there. Justin Bachman's there as well. So hopefully it opens a passing game, gives him a little more freedom. But either way, Mojo's numbers have been too sick not to rank him in the top 10. Led the league in rushing last he year. He did. It's sick. And our last guy we're going to talk about is a guy that personally I feel, and I think Brent feels this way a little bit as well, might not be getting, or might be getting written off a little bit too much as far as at this point and where people are ranking him, and that's Matt Forte. You know, he did have that injury at the end of last year, but it was only a sprain of the MCL. I mean, yes, that set him back at that point, but he's going to be completely healthy. If his contract stuff gets worked out, we don't see the problem with drafting Matt Forte in the late first round. That's why he cracks 
And our top 10 for our last guy in the first round of the standard 10 team league. And the injury is really key. It's not as bad as like what AP's injury is. So don't hate on that way too much. So that's it. Those are our early, early, early top 10 who you should be drafting projections. Stay tuned. Log on to fancysmacktalk.com. If you've got any dynasty questions, drafting questions, go into our forums. We'll be answering those for you. And regardless, check out our site. We're going to have more rankings, a whole bunch of articles, everything like that. Name code Dustin. Can't wait for football. Rankings. And, and he did two in a row. <laughs> <laughs>